what's this then? What, what's, what's actually happening here? I'm filling the kettle. Oh, why are you doing that? What, what's, because why does it require... Said, did I make one to cup of tea? And I said, yeah. And so I thought I'd fill the kettle for you. Because <laughs> that's how helpful I am. <laughs> I suppose I could try and light the stove. Yeah, let's see you light the stove. Breed down here. Oh, but should we have some chamomile tea? Chamomile tea? Fresh chamomile? Oh, is that the stuff you got from the mountain? Uh huh. Okay. Do you want some chamomile tea? Yeah, why not? Where's the tea cups? Do you know? There seems to be lots of cups. So, do I need to take the little pad things off? No, nope. little pad things are already off. Are they? Shout me for using too much gas on No, just turn it on all the way. See, he's attacking me for the tea. Can I do that? Thank you very much <laughs> for making a cup of tea. We need some cups. You're leaving your... Oh no, you're not. Yeah, I'm going to take that out. So yeah, you want to see that? Can you see that? I'll not really. You, I'll show you with the next one. So it's kind of like... These are fresh. If if they were dried, they'd be shriveled up. And you probably need a little bit less, about a teaspoonful. But that's probably about a dessert spoonful. Oh, there's a pot. Yeah, and then we just pour some water on. You might as well fill the extra ones in, actually. If they're not. There we go. All gone. This is, this is such a rarity, it's worth filming. <laughs> I'm cleaning the van. It's tidy, tidy. I can tidy, I can tidy. I can tidy. Found. We found some mussels. We went back down for a little cove this morning and the tide was right out so we went across to the little island. We forgot the camera though so we were a bit rubbish so we didn't get to show you that. But we found some mussels and now we're going to eat them. Cool. And the sun's come out look. The sunshine. Yeah we went down there a little wash in the sea and a little path went down a little path down there yes and now we're going to eat mussels we're just going to snack on mussels how cool is that catch up video um these are our mussels mm, just enough for a good sized portion i'm cleaning them and cleaning them up a little before i boil them and as you can see, my lovely assistant is there chopping up. What are you chopping up? Shallots and garlic. And where did they come from? They came from my allotment. Oh, yeah. We did, brought them with us. Did the pepper come from your allotment? I'm afraid not. The pepper came from, I don't know, Sainsbury's maybe. Ooh, <laughs> Sainsbury's. And also what we've got here is, what's this? Sea, sea beet. Yeah, so it's we foraged that yesterday um, near the castle in Carsadine. I can't remember what the castle's called. Can you remember the castle? No, but it was in Carsadine. It's sea beet, which is like... Spinach, like spinach. Okay, so we're going to sort of um, chop up our garlic, get lots and lots of butter in there, and give these a little sort of fry off. And... Um, I think that's enough onions and shallots. Yeah, that's enough onions and shallots, but I would I would want to cut them a little bit finer. I'd want to double them. Okay. I might need a bigger knife. 
Okay, I'll show you how we got on. Smells divine. It does smell divine. Wow, look at that. Wow. Forage food. Homegrown food. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, Chris is going to show me how to eat mussels because I've never actually eaten mussels before. Open them if you can with a fork. Mmm. You good? Very good. Cool. I'm going to travel to the little place where we were yesterday and just show you now that the tide's gone out. Decadent, and they were very nice too. In fact, they were gorgeous. Look at that, how stunning is that? It's just absolutely beautiful. The sea looks beautiful today, the sun's out a little bit. Pebble Beach. Sure we will. 